there are multiple ways um, that I can go. And I just want to peel back the onion just, just, just a little bit more. We heard from the first panel where the city asserted what it is um, that they have. Um, it didn't come out today, but I would like to draw your attention at some point to review what the city has referred to as its culmination of a comprehensive public safety plan. When you look at the term culmination, you go to the root word, which is culminate, which is finality, master, done. It is obvious by the past few minutes and the second panel where some things were asserted, there is no culmination of a comprehensive public safety plan. In peeling back that onion, someone uh, talked about politics. Um, unfortunately, politics is playing a huge, uh, unwarranted, influential role on what's wrong with public safety in Boston. We are not safe. Law enforcement can no longer fall back on a former impact player. Um, can no longer fall back on known to police. Chris Joyce and Mr. Blair were killed in Heath Street. Let me back up. I grew up in Heath Street. I'm from Heath Street. On my way to see that, you talk about trauma or somebody asks who's dealing with trauma. As someone that works in this space that has serviced families, that has responded to issues where uh, the lack of a real comprehensive public safety plan, I applaud to some extent uh, uh, HHS and the trauma movement. We had a meeting in February. Movement happened. The card that they referred to was designed by a group that I led with the police. So there's been some movement on HHS. Let me back up a little bit. The impact and the, the trauma I deal with is not responding to the issues. It's the crap. It's the, uh, Cindy Diggs referred to some years ago, there's too much yellow tape for all this red tape. The young lady referred to the, pack, to the fact of the people who aren't in the room. Where's my clarity? Where's the rest of the at-large counselors? I know Ayanna would say I heard someone checking for an appointment, so she's not here. Certain districts may feel that it's not their priority because it's not an uptick in their area. I'm going to behave. So the points I want to make is when we talk about the politics, Reverend Broderick referred to um, the, the disconnectivity. For years, I said on social media I was coming with a stack of emails and printouts. Counselor, both of y'all came to meetings that we had. You came to the result one. You came to the one with the parents. And y'all heard directly, Kim, you heard, Counselor Janie, you heard directly from the parents what the issues are, what they're dealing with, what this young lady echo today. There is a huge disconnect. Let's just keep it real. There are personality conflicts between department and cabinet heads. There are, 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 there's not open sharing of information. You talked about, you know, being transparent and whatnot. What a, there is stuff that's already in place. I think it was Marty Martinez that talked about communication and coordination is everything. For years, we've been trying to tell the city there is no interdepartmental protocol for communication. You got BHA placing OP moms in Heath Street and allowing their boyfriends or whatever to come over, giving them access to the roof and they're shooting off the roof, uh, not even from there. This is the stuff that you, they came and did the song and dance today about all this, what's going well. There has been movement, that's wonderful, but when it comes to public safety, there has not been, we had that meeting in February where citizens came out. The, uh, the mayor's office of public safety has yet to follow up and sit down. I have sent multiple, multiple emails and asked, organizers and activists had asked for a deeper dive around issues. Everybody today talked about the kids in the centers. The kids that go to the centers are not the ones shooting. Nobody talked about SSYI. Roy Martin is not here. He has a list of two to 300 young people. They said today there's 45 gangs. How many street workers are there? Come on, y'all have the information. Y'all have the data. There was years ago that there's models. I was wanting to say, what's new and innovative? What's this co comprehensive public safety plan going to you know, do that's new? 
Some organizers got on me and said, no, James, there's models that worked in the past. Stop allocating all this goddamn money into law enforcement and reallocate the money so programs can have the support they need to get these young people home so JRI can build out and have more services. It, 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 it just, it, it, it baffles me. Tim, you know I worked across the hall, so I know how this stuff works. I know the politics of it as a unit. Where are you all as elected officials? This hearing is wonderful, wonderful, but we've done it before. I've, test I've testified so many times about the same things over and over again. Yes, we had the hearings in the community, but what was done after? What was done? I came here today to put it out there. Yo, we are getting to the point where I will commit to organizing people to get people out of office that will not demonstrate their commitment to changing this. I know I'm over my time, but it, it, I had to seize the opportunity with a different set of folks. Kim, you went through that the other night. Tim, you already know the work. Matt, I was trying to reach out and connect with you. It didn't happen. I grew up over there. All this cute, dancey, Wonderful stuff. That's y'all need to go out in the community and have. I can give y'all numbers. They can give y'all numbers where y'all can go and talk in their homes with these people that don't share the experience of what was being asserted in here today. The main thing I want to ask when you talk about suggestions, and I'll shut up, make them department heads and cabinet heads get in the room with OPS, OPS Office of Public Safety, and make them do their damn job. They need to present by July 1st, everybody talking about the summer, bring them all together, and there needs to be a new plan with community partners. There was an assertion about our partnerships and our partnerships. I got a thread of emails where I have no response to sit down and follow up. When citizens came out, I'll leave that at that. Thank you all for your time.